Welcome to the Digital Production Buzz at the 2015 NAB Show. Hi, this is Larry Jordan, and this interview was recorded live on the trade show floor. For more information, visit digitalproductionbuzz.com. One of the cool things is discovering new people and new faces, and that's what today is about. Kenan Hewlett is the Marketing and Customer Relations Manager for Pond5, and Pond5, as we all know, does stock footage. Kenan, welcome. Good to have you with us. It's great to be here. How would you describe Pond5 these days? You guys have been doing so much in so many different directions. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, we've been growing like crazy. But um, we're still the friendliest um, marketplace for both buyers and sellers. Um, our artists set their own prices and they get 50% every time something sells. And um, we also have the best prices in the industry because of that. People usually price their stuff a lot, a lot lower where, um, at, our, at our site than they go other places. We give people a lot more freedom, and because of that, people really respond very positively to it, so we love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I noticed that your booth is right next to, to the Buzz booth here it at is. NAB, and we've been enjoying <laughs> watching all the incredible images that have been flashing up on the mm -hmm. monitor. What have you got that's new for us this week? Well, um, of course, there's always the public domain project that launched several months ago. Um, if you go to pond5.com slash free, there are 100,000 public domain files available completely for free under public domain um, rules. So basically, what would be examples of these files? Oh, we have stuff from NASA. Um, we actually went to the Library of Congress and digitized a lot of stuff in 4K. So we have a huge collection that's available there. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. So we've got NASA footage and we've got stuff from the Library of Congress. I'm mm -hmm. just trying to get a sense of 100,000 files is a lot. What it would, is. Is it just government documents or what is it? No, no, it's um, everything from um, the Depression to stuff from NASA. Um, we actually have 3D models from NASA, which is very, very exciting. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's really, really diverse, and I, I suggest everyone goes and checks it out right now. <laughs> and where do they find it on the Pond5 site? It's Pond5, that's P-O-N-D, number 5, dot com slash free. Free always gets my attention, yeah. but there's got to be more going on than just free. What else you guys got? Well, the biggest thing right now is backlots. Um, we just did a huge partnership with CT Image, and um, this gives us basically 8K um, images and videos that have been stitched no, wait, together. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. 8K? 8K. So what it is is it's three cameras that are set up, and they're seamlessly stitched together, and it actually becomes a backdrop on which you can do all sorts of uh, green screen productions. It's really, really exciting, and um, it's our big thing for NAB right now that we're, <laughs> we'd love to do. We have backgrounds from 25 different cities in uh, all, all over the world, um, places like Amsterdam and uh, that sort of thing. So yeah, I would tell everyone to just go and check it out. Now, the, the, it's called a background, so when you go to Pond5, you're looking for backgrounds? What you're looking for is back lots. Back lots. Yeah, and if you go to the, um, if you mouse over video mm -hmm. in, our, um, in our toolbar, on, or not toolbar, our, our head, header image on Pond5.com, you'll see back lots as just an option there that you can choose. You just click on that, you can see it right there. And yeah, it's super exciting. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got that you're talking about here at the show? Well, let's see. So there's public domain. There's backlots. Um, and at this point, actually, we're up to 3.6 million video files, which is just insane. Um, we're getting more and more every week. Um, our curators are always busy. There's all sorts of stuff going on. So yeah, I mean, that's another big thing, is that we're, we're over 3.5. We're heading toward 4. Well, which means that being able to find stuff is really critical. Your search engine yeah. is essential, because you can't wade through 3 million of anything and find what you're looking for. Absolutely. How is Pond5 tweaking its search engine to allow us to find the clips that we need? Oh, we're always doing that. So every, every time you go in, it's a little bit different. Search results are going to be a little bit more refined and good. Um, the biggest thing we've done actually to help artists who are, um, who are uploading files is we have auto-tagging now um, for images, and we're going to be hopefully rolling it out very soon to other, other media types soon. But what you do is you upload an image, and automatically it'll read the image and get you all of your keywords that it thinks you would need. And when you like say, oh, well, you know, that's, that's, it says boy, but it's actually a girl and that sort of thing, then what ends up happening is it will, um, it will learn from that. And the next time it suggests things will be better and better and better. So it's actually AI and um, super you know, future stuff that we're doing to make everything better for people. Now, you say this is just for images. Why not video as well? Um, well, video is a much harder image to read, obviously. Like when you have a static image, you can go through it and you can understand the pixels. Video is a much more complex algorithm. And so we're, we're working on that with our partners and making sure that we can get that out pretty soon. We're not exactly sure when, though. 
<laughs> now, one of the things that you did a couple of years ago that, that I was interested in is you've created a panel for, for Premiere. Mm -hmm. So you can actually buy or review, even more important, review images from Pond5 directly inside Premiere. Yeah. How's that been received? Oh, it, fantastically. I mean, people love it. It's a really fantastic way for people to, um, to go in and be editing and just live in their edit. They can go to a, to a little widget within the, uh, within the Premiere interface and click on something. It automatically goes into their, their bin and they can bring it into their timeline. And when they're ready to know what they want to buy, they just can form a timeline and it's all done. It's fantastic. People love it. Well, that's the part that I like is that you're able to download all the, the clips that you want to practice with until you figure out exactly the one yeah. that you want. Oh, it makes it and so then, easy. Then it automatically swaps out the high res for the low res mm -hmm. and drops that into your Premiere project without you having to do any extra hard work. Yeah, it's, it's so simple. And um, if you have Premiere, go download it right now. Um, if you go to our web page, you'll be able to see a, a little widget with it right there. And let's see, what else was, oh, so we've talked about Backlot, we've talked about the free stuff, we've talked about the Premiere widget. Is there anything else new that going on that we need to pay attention to? Um, well, we don't really, I can't think of anything at the moment that we're doing that's brand new, but I mean, we have 4K footage, we have 8K footage, we have all sorts of stuff on the site that you can always check out. So what I would just suggest is that everyone goes in and searches for what they're looking for, and they'll be able to find it and buy it. Well, one of the things that I found that's really hard to do with, with, with uh, stock footage, not mm -hmm. just you, but everybody, is getting footage that's got audio associated with it. Yes. Licensing video is easy. Licensing mm -hmm. audio is hard. And the other thing is finding video that tells a story. Mm -hmm. It's easy to find individual shots, but one of the things that I was trying to do is, is building my training is to try to find a story where I can have four or five shots that all relate. Yeah. How do I find shots that tell stories? What I would suggest is um, do a search for like maybe the, the kind of the centerpiece of your project. So what you're trying to do. So like, you know, let's say you have someone who's going to the store. You can just do a search for like woman with shopping cart. And look for something that looks as though it's being used with models. So you can see that someone's actually using a model to, to do that. What that means is that they probably did a whole shoot series with that same model. So what you can do is then click on their username and then look for other files that are, are in that same series. And you can put together a story with everything that that one person did on a shoot. Very cool. And for people that would like to check this out, what website should they go see to learn more? Oh, to learn more. P-O-N-D, number five, smallbodywater, number five, dot com. <laughs> <laughs> and i got to find my sheet of paper here before I lose it. That's P-O-N-D-5, pond5, dot com. And Kenan Hewlett is the marketing and customer relations manager for Pond5. Kenan, it's always a delight oh, chatting. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, I'll see you next year. Take care. <laughs>